New at 530, flooding is something we are all familiar with here in Hampton Roads. Today, a group of researchers at ODU met with gubernatorial candidate Tom Periello to discuss how to reduce it. Our Maria Elena Balores was at their meeting this morning. Yeah, and the researchers in Periello agreed water does not know political boundaries, and that's why they wanted to meet. They hope that sharing ideas and information leads to progress and keeps businesses and people in the area. You could say the flooding is an accident of geography, but researchers at ODU don't want to settle with just that. Many of our jobs are either directly or indirectly related to our waterways. So what's really important is to make sure that as um, flooding increases, we continue to develop ways to better live with that water and to thrive with that water. Last year, they organized the Commonwealth Center for Recurrent Flooding Resiliency. It's a partnership between ODU, VIMS, and the College of William and Mary. Their research goes out to communities to help people recover after flooding. They're also looking at ways flooding will affect the future, hoping they can ensure that businesses and people stay in the region. Candidate for Governor Tom Periello says that's why he wanted to meet with the team at ODU. I know it's so crucial to the military's presence here in the region, but also to some of the great business opportunities of the next generation uh, around some of the water issues that we've seen. The researchers know it's not an easy problem to solve, but it's something they've been working on for a while. They're already focused on these issues, so we're not starting from scratch. We really do have a baseline of research and information. And they're hoping lawmakers will help them establish the first national center for sea level rise. That would allow us to further our research um, and to make sure that our impacts are not just local but also global as well. And Periello will be at the Murray Center in Norfolk tonight for a town hall meeting that's open to the public. That starts at 7. I'm Maria Elena Baloris, 10 on your side.